What's going on YouTube? It's Ray. It's going to be 2015 in a couple hours. And so I just wanted to do a um, somewhat of a recap of my year. Basically, or I guess I really should say half year. Because um, it's kind of a... And not too long of a story, but I'll get into it. Um, you see, when I was younger, in like grade school and middle school, I used to be a lot more into collecting. Um, would just buy packs of cards for the fun of it and trade with with friends. Wouldn't even consider pulling stuff, really. Or um, I mean, I would graph uh, just at the foul lines pretty much every baseball game I went to just for the fun of it. Now with the idea of like sharing it with a community or anything. But I don't know. This past summer, I kind of missed it. I hadn't done it in a while, and um, I don't know. I just felt like doing it again. So. I first did it um, in June when um, the Giants were in town against the Reds, went early, and had Sergio Romo sign this baseball. And then on the other side, Gene Machi. And since that trip went well, um, I decided to give it another round, try at the next um, Reds game I went to, which just happened to be the Toronto Blue Jays, where I, on the foul lines before the game I was able to get... Brett Lawry on this baseball. And then on the other side, Jose Reyes. That was actually the second time I've gotten him in Cincinnati before a game. And um, so that was going pretty well for me. And I knew I'd be going to a Pirates game soon. Um, so I was doing some research and found out that um, Andrew McCutcheon had a good reputation of signing before games. And... Uh, while doing some research, I was searching for it on YouTube just to see if I could get some footage of it, and I just happened to come, stumble across a TTM video, and I forget exactly if it was, and I don't even remember if it was Andrew McCutcheon or not, but I was just curious what a TTM autograph was, so I click on it, and I watch it, and I'm still a little confused, so I like look more into what TTM is, and... I'm kind of blown away. I'm I'm honestly surprised that I never thought of this before when I was younger and really into collecting. Um, and it just kind of, it honestly, it brought me back into the hobby to the degree that I am now. Um, so, I mean, I, don't, I honestly couldn't have told you who I first saw, like, on out of the community. But thanks to the community in general for just kind of, um, I don't know, opening my eyes to this way of collecting. And I would never have the level of collection that I do now um, without it. So, I mean, thanks everybody. And um, let's see, my first TTM was sent on June 26th. Yeah, the 26th of uh, June. So really when I say the numbers on my TTMs um, for the year, it's really for the half year. I mean, I'm going to start over um, tomorrow if I get one. I'll start back at one, but still... Really, uh, I got to um, 80 successes within um, s about a little over five months. So that's a pretty good start, I would say. I honestly don't know how long I'm going to do it. Um, I don't know. We'll just kind of see. I guess money is always a factor. Um, next summer, I'm not going to be able to send nearly as many because, uh, one, I'll be working more and Two, if all goes to plan, I should be down in Alabama for about a month um, for a type of um, training. I won't get into that, but anyways, let's get into some TTMs. Um, I'll start with baseball. I'll do PC pickups too because I really didn't have a PC um, or I didn't like buy autographs online before this year. But anyway, baseball TTM highlights. First, Andre Ethier. Wrote on my card. Let's see if it'll focus. Hey Ray, thank you for being a Dodgers fan. Andre Ethier on his Topps rookie card. That was probably the coolest baseball success. Josh Hamilton, one of my favorite players. So that was really neat to get back. Chris Davis turned out really nice looking. Former, uh, how many home runs did he hit that one year? At least 50, I'm not really sure. Adam Dunn, one of my childhood idols probably my first um really favorite baseball player he signed in pen but oh well this is my very first ttm success so that was really neat to be from uh, one of my former idols 
Jonathan Lucroy, you can barely see it because he used a crappy marker. But I like Jonathan Lucroy even though he plays for a rival team since I don't know he's good and I don't think he's that flashy. Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. I do like the Red Sox, so that's pretty cool, especially since it turned out nice. Charlie Blackman, he had kind of a breakout year. Um, I don't know, kind of like the Red Sox. I do like the Rockies. They're not my favorite team, but I mean, I don't know. I can't really explain why I like him. Cole Calhoun, young stud. I really like Topps Heritage, too, so that's nice. Kevin Kiermeyer, I don't know if everybody knows, or all baseball fans know him, but from what I saw for the race, he was having a really good year, so that's nice, especially on a uh, like a minor league card. Ben Zobrist, this is his own card that he sent back, personalized it to me. The back um, is about his faith, basically, and um, how, I don't know, uh, improving his spiritual life kind of helped him in baseball. And then Bruce Bochy, the manager for the Giants. Um, how many? Three World Series in the last five years. And then some baseball PC pickups. Todd Frazier on a museum collection out of 399. Um, Jay Bruce IP picked up off a guy on our Facebook group. Zach Cozart, same thing off Facebook. Josh Harrison off Facebook. Kyle Seeger off Facebook. Um, Alex Cobb off eBay, Museum Collection 399. And then Chris Heisey, Dual Relic Auto out of 250. I'll still uh, root for him even though he's a Dodger now. But still. Let's go to football. Best TTMs out of football. By far the best for me, Drew Brees. One of my favorite NFL players. Also one of my favorites, Jordy Nelson. I'm not going to show all the duplicates if I got two, but I'm not sure which one was more visible for Jordy Nelson. So, there's that one. This one I'm not sure if it's legit or not. I'm going to count it because there's no way of proving. Uh, I sent it to its, his um, parents' house, and I mean, if his dad signed it, he's still an NFL veteran, so I guess that counts as success. Clay Matthews, Dick Buckus, Adam Pacman Jones, that only took two days, Santonio Holmes, personalized, David Akers, John Kuhn, I like the Packers, so that's cool, Greg Jennings, personalized, Rex Burkhead rookie card, even though he didn't play much, that's pretty cool, personalized, uh, Herschel Walker, it says best wishes, I don't know if you can see it or not, honestly, but it looks nice in person. Oh, there was an Archie Manning that fell, and Derek Carr, who, um, for being on a crappy team, had a pretty good rookie year, I'd say. Um, football pickups. These were just um, purchased. Ray Maluga off Facebook. Uh, Tyler Eifert, Relic Auto off eBay. Kobe Fleener, Relic Auto off eBay. Jumbo Patch of Giovanni Bernard out of 12.06. This was um, bought in a autograph box from the Fairfield Company from Target. Quentin Copel's rookie. And then I'm only including this... Um, just because I happen to pull it, really, and I don't really pull autos, uh, who pulls autos often. I mean, I I don't know. I just buy them packs for fun, mostly, to look for, for cars to uh, send TTM. But I pulled this Sam Montgomery auto, so that's pretty cool. And then a um, couple more TTMs. I don't have many basketball or hockey, but the cool ones out of the ones I got. Shaquille O'Neal, Dirk, Chris Pronger. Retired hockey player. And um, kind of random, but my favorite sports center uh, broadcaster, John Butcher Gross. Okay, so that is it for the cards. Um, anyways, to continue with my story um, about at Reds games graphing, in August I was able to go see the Red Sox. Um, it was definitely crowded. Uh, I was lucky because I was one of the very few people who were able to get them right before the game. 
but Brock Holt was a, si able to sign my baseball for me and smudge it a little bit, but that's okay. And then um, I was able to go to Reds Fest this year and get Mr. Mike Leak on a baseball. No, no, crap. Let me uh, block you for a second. At Reds Fest, Johnny Cueto, 8x10. Oh, how silly of me. Some other cool TTMs. Mike Krzyzewski, 8x10. I don't know if you can see that very well in this light, but that. Jim Trussell, 8x10. Ray, go YSU, go Bucks, Jim Trussell. And then the other cool 8x10 TTM from the Chicago White Sox, Mr. Paul Canerco. Inscribed to Ray, all the best. You can't really see it in this light, but it looks good I, in person. I almost said IP. Worth the habit. And then um, two more things that were uh, really cool that would have I've eventually just been pitched. Uh, I just happened to find them sitting around in my closet. Uh, there's a lot more that I'm going to be sending out. But for right now, these are the only two I've gotten back. One sec. Sports Illustrated. Mr. Drew Brees, this is probably the coolest thing in my collection out of everything. Let's see if I'll focus a little there. Him holding his son after the Super Bowl. Uh, the address I sent this to is on Sports Cards forums. Uh, it seems like he only answers big packages. That's why I sent this SI and my card along with it. Um, I looked at the address and it's like a, like a mail services building. I'm not sure how Drew Brees got it from them. Maybe they just figured they'd deliver it to him. I don't know, but I didn't question it because, I mean, there's the success. So. And then the other um, SI basketball future Hall of Famer, Mr. Shaquille O'Neal. So I know this is a long video. I mean, uh, sorry if I bored anyone to tears. I mean, you probably would have left by now. But anyways, I'm just thankful to... Uh, the community for kind of getting me back into collecting and I'm looking forward to a good uh, 2015 so like if you want subscribe if you want comments are always welcome thanks for watching